All right, that, that was all just warm up. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta bring these people the juice now, Francis. We gotta bring them the goods. We got our stretches in, our wind sprints, our little, you know, five mile, five mile practice run in. Now we gotta bring them the juice, all right? Just make the sure, goods, just the make goods. Sure, just make sure your questions are on point, please. The goods. You're making me look bad. Supposed to introduce myself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Francis, my name is Francis Mbuyamba. Um, Where are you from? I'm, oh, I'm from South Africa, born in Congo. Um, I arrived in the US 2016 to pursue a major in engineering. I wasn't entirely sure which engineering to do actually. So you came in undecided? No, no, not necessarily undecided. Um, well, I knew for sure that it was either going to be mechanical, electrical, or civil. I was happy with any one of those three. So, so I know civil was, is the oldest. That's why I thought that was cool. Electrical engineering. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of things we use today require electricity. So I figured that that would be a good one to go. That was my reasoning for that. Then mechanical engineering was, the reasoning behind that may not be the same, but I just think it, it sounds cool. Mechanical engineering, machines and stuff like that. But when I got here, I saw mechanical and aerospace. So I was like, okay, cool. Mechanical, also, it's also the broadest. This is how I've always thought about it. I thought that mechanical and aerospace engineering went hand in hand because everything mechanical, because with aerospace, you're just dealing with everything mechanical in the air because the moving parts are pretty much the same. Right. You're just taking advantage of pressure differences and things to fly. So that, that's what I thought. I thought that they will be extremely similar. And you see it in the actual major. A lot of the courses overlap. So. And what, what year are you in your major? Oh, I'm in my junior year. Junior. Okay, so you're like in the, in the meat of all of it, right? Yep, in the meat. And right in it's the pretty meat. hectic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's America how I made into college. I, me in high school, I didn't... I mean, I wasn't a good... I wasn't a good student at all in, in high school. I really... So my mother would leave for work at 6 a.m. So she would leave before I even get up for school. Because I would get up at like... I would, actually, I would get up at 6, so, but she leaves at 6. So I would just need to stay in bed a little longer than I usually would for her to like miss me, for her to go to work and not see me at all. So that's what I would do. And I wouldn't go to school, just chill at home. What would I do? Absolutely nothing. Not even read a book. Not even. I'll just chill that. Like it's, and I cringe at that. I'm like, why was I like that? Knowing like, you now, I would never would have guessed that. It's if if you saw my report card, you <laughs> definitely would have. Huh? It would be crystal clear that this guy was not putting in any effort. So what are you saying? You would tell your past self that um, life is real. I'll be like, yo, if you continue on this path. Where are you going to end up? Because that's, I didn't have that in mind. It was like, hey, you know what? I live here in a house, taken care of, and I don't, it was very immature of me to think that, that would last forever. Right, so something, okay, <laughs> something that you would have told yourself just a year ago in engineering, something involving engineering or like your advancement of education. Read your textbooks. I don't agree with that. No, read your textbooks. I don't agree with that. Read yeah. your text. Okay, do you know why? Because number one, not every instructor is a good instructor. Number two, and this is just a personal philosophy. Read your okay. It depends. It depends. That's fine. No, it's not. Read your good. textbook. It depends. It's always, you'll always be safe because if you read the textbook. Did you, you know that I haven't? I'm not. First of all, I just told you I failed a lot of classes, right? And you don't read the. Textbook. I failed a lot of classes. And you don't read the textbook. But I'm about to graduate, and I haven't read a single ah. textbook. <laughs> I haven't read a single textbook from when I started school. So what would you tell someone a year late, a year before? A year from now, a year before. I'm now. questioning you, bro. This isn't no, your, just saying, this isn't your YouTube channel. Because I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you? Uh, um, no, read read the textbook. I, that's what I'll tell myself. Okay, okay, that's before. fair. So that's something you started doing recently? No, recently. Um, something I was always told to do. Actually. But you didn't. Okay. I didn't. Okay. It, it, I could see how it would be extremely valuable. And I, yes, yeah, I think you would learn more if you read the textbook. But my God, is there a lot? There is. No, I think it becomes a lot more critical the higher you go. Oh, High yeah. level stuff, 
It's no more like... So I guess here's why I could get away without using the textbook. Yeah. Because a lot of the hard classes that I had, which were like, I don't know, your upper level mathematics classes, right? Calc 3, Calc 4, or anything like um, science-based, right? MA243, which is like mechanics and materials here. That's like the hard, as hard as it gets from, from my route as far as like those sciences go. Those are on YouTube now. Yeah. Like there are in-depth videos all over YouTube for those. And that's but the cool. farther that you go in into like the real niche and real corner subjects, there aren't any yeah, YouTube videos. Yeah, because for. not everyone understands that stuff. No, no, that's so that's interesting. That, yeah, it's, it's it's really it's tough. That's why I say it. read. The no, text. that's good. Okay, I'll accept that then. Maybe that's a good. Maybe it's a good answer. I mean, I so was, what age did you realize you want to become an engineer? So my brother suggested it to me at 18 when you're supposed to. Well, when a lot of people think you're supposed to know what you want to do with your life, but he was what's like, the, "What's the real answer to when you when you should know what you want to do with your life?" You know. I don't want to start a new conversation. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> can't, can't finish what you're saying. But I knew it. Well, I didn't know, but my brother suggested it to me at about 18, when I was like 18. Um, because I was thinking medicine and law. Why? Because of where I grew up. People become doctors, lawyers, you know, those sort right, of professions. Right, right, yeah. So, he was like, why don't you become an engineer? My dad was an engineer. I was like, uh, oh, you know, why not? And that's pretty much how it was. Okay. But and then I mean all the thought process and stuff went into it. Like it's not it wasn't that simple. It wasn't just like, hey, become an engineer. Yeah. yeah right, no, right. It was right. like he said it and then I started to like reflect on it and be like, Okay, makes sense. Thought about it and then yeah, here we are. So I get this I remember getting this all the time, right? I was first coming into engineering and yeah. people would be like uh, people at school would be like, oh, hey, what's your major? Like, you're just talking to people, right? Yeah. And, and you're like, oh, hey, uh, nice to meet you. What's your major? And then they ask you the same thing back, and you're like, oh, engineering. And they're like, yeah. like, sounds really difficult. Yeah. You must be really smart. One of these uh, one of these answers that they give, right? Like, uh, yeah. you must be really smart. Yeah. Oh, no, that sounds difficult. Or I'm not very good at math, right? Yeah, they yeah. say one of those things. They usually, that's usually What's your response to that when they say stuff like that? Um. Oh, well, I literally don't mind giving up my Saturdays to study. That, that's how it is. And then people are like, oh, okay, makes sense. So not necessarily about being smart, it's just about putting in the effort. Because yeah, I'm sure yeah. finance and that's the, I wouldn't be able to do it because I wouldn't put in the effort. I really wouldn't. So it might seem difficult to me as well. No, that makes sense. I think that uh, <laughs> people say it to me all the time and I'm like, what do you say? believe me, I'm not smart with this. <laughs> <laughs> like, like if they saw my one, either my report card or like my grades, right? Yeah. They saw my grades. They saw the amount of classes I failed. They saw the amount of classes I've had to retake, yeah. withdrew from, whatever. Yeah. They'd be like, this guy is clearly not struggling? smart. <laughs> this guy is clearly not smart. People are usually content with, it's a lot of math and science. They're like, oh, okay. Because yeah. they don't, they aren't, because <laughs> they aren't as interested in it, you know? Yeah. I mean. I feel like engineering is one of those majors, it's like medicine. You need to know that you want to be an engineer or you need to know that you want to be a doctor. Like, I'm, I'm granted people st still enter those fields and like change, but it's one of those things like you can't, it's not a spur of the moment thing because you will get exposed. Oh, you won't. That's kind of deep. No, no, I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. And and it's not just engineering, because like I said, with medicine or with law, I feel like it's 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 one of those things where you can't just Go in and be like, you know what? Let me try, let me try engineering. Let me let me try be a doctor and see where it takes me. Like you have to be committed, at least if you want to do well in it. That's what I think. And what were your first steps to taking to like make sure you could come here and 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 like make sure everything was right and to come to school and everything like that? Like, did you just start by googling how to apply for a school year, um, or like what was the pro? Did you talk to people? So I didn't do a good job of, of that part. I really did it. So. <laughs> I I think I have a good a, a a good memory. So what I did is I jotted down every single university name that that came to mind. Now I've watched in South Africa we watch a lot of American. Did you put TV. Harvard on the list? No. MIT. Actually, yes. MIT. Yes, but the reason why I didn't apply to some of these schools is I'm ashamed to say, it, but it was laziness because they wanted me to do an English exam, and I can speak English. I, I can speak English, I can understand it. I can imagine a lot of people having a problem with this. Same thing. It, it's, it's, like, it's annoying. It's like, what do you need to prove? Because you you come here and you, 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 you meet people and you communicate with them and, and then you wonder, why on earth did I even have to... Why were they even asking me to do that exam in the first place? It's like... Because what, what bugged me even more is that English is an official language of South Africa. It's, 
it's an official language of South Africa. So if someone comes to uh, if someone wants to come to the U.S. and they tell you that they speak English, chances are they speak it well too, because it's it's a language of instruction. Right, in the right. I got you. The okay. Ego? Was it like, man, it, these it guys was. don't think I know you? <laughs> it was. It was. I was like, because I mean, people have the stigma about America. I mean, I did too. It's like these right. Americans, they think they know everything. Well, who do they think they are telling me that I don't know how to speak English? And, and I think that's part of what Knowing it was. you, I could definitely see. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, yo. I could definitely see you having this conversation with yourself on one end of the computer. Dude, because I... Who the... Do these guys think <laughs> they are? Like, I'm putting this down. I had probably come from watching an American show, too, or something. I'd probably been watching a Hollywood movie. And what I would have done differently is I would have done my research. I would have taken the English exams. And I would have looked for... I think I would have done a bit more, like, a detailed search on like the engineering colleges of the universities that I wanted to attend. Because I, I know West Virginia has a good uh, uh, engineering school, but I didn't know how good, right? So I would have done a bit more research in that. But I mean, you know, like they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. Uh, your favorite science fiction TV show or movie? Favorite science fiction TV show or movie? You've recommended like three to me in the past like year. Um, Interstellar was a good one. But actually, of all time, does The Matrix count as science fiction? Yeah, man, why not? Because I've always, I, I don't know, I like the, the Matrix trilogy. It's really, I thought it was, it was, it was an incredible movie. Well, they were incredible movies, The Matrix. It's a little old, but I can get down with it. I mean, but the idea is, I mean. It's still there. Yeah, like machine world that needs humans to power, to, 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 to operate, I mean. Right. So you have a machine world that needs humans to operate the machine world. So right. humans are basically the batteries that are plugged into to this machine world. And we just live in this matrix and you get unplugged and you find out what's really going on, which is that there is the machine city. No, that makes sense. World and, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. I always, it was very thought provoking. It makes you think like, are we living in a matrix? Or like, do you know what the simulation argument is? Yeah, we've I've heard this. Oh, There's oh. too much of it floating around YouTube, bro. It gets old after a minute. That's no, like the number one thing. No, can I tell you? It's become mainstream. Let me like tell if my you. mom knows about it, <laughs> if my mom knows about the the the, the whatever theory is no, out, no. that's then it's been it's been put past around. Yeah, a lot. because all of a sudden being like smart and stuff is cool when it wasn't before. Like before, not even smart and stuff. Like knowing these things before because Elon has stuff. made it his he has his... he has and it's cool I, that's why I look up to him so much because it's like he, he's made it really cool and it's something that I like too like so what do you mean simulate your mother doesn't know the simulation argument Rubber, I'm gonna burn his gasoline and set it on fire fire